What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, and we're here with your Distance Learning Announcements. Hey, Wolfpack. I don't know if you guys know this, but Mr. Mason put, put together a fun scavenger hunt for a Starbucks gift card. What's up, everyone? I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. And we're here to talk to you about the CHS Halloween scavenger hunt. To start off, here are the rules. The first rule is that you must be socially distant. No other friends or any other people in your pictures besides family members. Also, find as many things as possible on the checklist by Friday. Put the pictures in a Google slide or document or any other single image. We want all of your images together so we don't have to look through every single one. And make sure to send to coasb21 at gmail.com by October 16th at 5 p.m. Watch Wolfpack TV for the winner announcement. Top three people who found the most items will receive a Starbucks gift card. The goal of the scavenger hunt is to find as many of the following things as possible by Friday. Now here's a list of everything you need to find. Yay! Good luck, Good luck Wolfpack! Wolfpack. Hey Dylan, I don't know if you heard, but the NBA Lakers have finally won the finals. Now here's John to tell you more about sports. What's up Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. Let's kick this week off with football. Sunday was an awful day for the Dallas Cowboys and their fans. Quarterback Dak Prescott suffered a devastating ankle injury while the Cowboys were playing the New York Giants. Prescott dislocated his ankle and reportedly had surgery on Sunday night to repair a compound fracture. With Prescott not out for at least the rest of the season, Cowboys players and fans are both lamenting his injury and trying to be as positive about the team's 11 remaining games. Now over to the NBA. The LA Lakers win the NBA Finals after a six-game series against the Miami Heat, this being LeBron James' fourth NBA championship and third Finals MVP, which makes him the first player ever to have won a Finals MVP with three different organizations, the Miami Heat, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and of course, the Los Angeles Lakers. In baseball, Hall of Fame second baseman Joe Morgan, a key member of the Cincinnati Reds' famed Big Red Machine, died Sunday at his home in Danville, California at the age of 77. Morgan was a two-time National League Most Valuable Player, a 10-time All-Star, and a five-time Gold Glove Award winner. He is widely regarded as one of the best second basemen in baseball history, and he gained renown for his 25-plus years as a broadcaster after his career. That's all I have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm John Sheehan, and this is your weekly sports update. Thanks, guys. Next, make sure to join Tea Society every Wednesday from 3.30 to 4.30 for an hour of virtual improv games. Scan the QR code to join our group on the Band app or email cmoslin at edusd.net for more information. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Dylan Brazier, and remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Wolf Pack.